Good morning, y'all. I know it's been a pretty good minute since we've uploaded a video on YouTube. Again, sorry about that, but life happens, and I wanted to bring y'all along with me as I can corn for the first time. The other week, we had gone to an Amish produce auction up in Seymour, Missouri. We got a couple boxes of squash and a bag of corn. Now, you'll see two bags of corn, and there's a funny story behind that. I'll tell y'all at the end of this video. But there were some things I had to Google to make sure I was doing everything the right way and uh, had some accidents along the way, as y'all have seen. It was a lot of batches of corn, but everything turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy. So some of the stuff we're finding is little friends like this. What a cute little guy, but he doesn't need to be on my corn. So, yeah, we've got some of this going on. We gotta cut off all the bad stuff. and we're finally getting the rain. Thank you, Jesus. All right, now I'm gonna go help Lionel, or not, not Lionel, Arlo. It's blowing over chairs and everything. Oh my goodness. Mom, what you're doing? Look at What you doing with the corn? You're opening the corn. Yeah, yeah, there's corn in there. Yeah, it wasn't a matter of putting Arlo up, it was a matter of fixing the playhouse because the wind just whoosh and it was everywhere. Poor guy's like running around like, help me, no shelter. everywhere <laughs> oh look at all that silk mama's gonna pull some of that off inside too yep yeah. and then all the husks we're gonna give to the piggies say oink 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 let me help you with that 
you don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I honestly don't know. And tell me how we messed up, drifting away from each other. Didn't wanna let you go. Oh, oh, oh. 'Cause we wanted different things, and I have to do with it. But it's not easy. So tell me how to let go. To carry on on your own. Ever since I got a good look in his eyes, I just knew that he was special. He said he wanted to take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level. 'Cause I wanted that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we. Upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I couldn't get him off my mind. All right, so we got all that. Well, half of the corn total cut. There's still two buckets like this of. Uh, corn cobs downstairs in the fridge but this corn some of it looks like and you might not be able to tell but some of it looks like cream corn without the cream and then some of it is whole kernel corn um, we had both started off with these um, you know they have the little blades there um, both of them do I didn't really like those so I tried something else that I had seen before focus all right um, of people shoving it down butt pans. So I tried that. Well, I just didn't have the strength for that. So like less than 30 seconds in, I quit. <laughs> and then just started cutting it off the cob. So I think that's what I'll do with the other two buckets of uh, corn cobs that we have. But this one I think I'll try to can as cream corn. I'll look for a recipe and see how to just make cream corn and can that. And then the other two buckets of corn cobs, cut all that off, and then just can that as whole kernel corn. So, I've got my pressure canner here. I've got all my lids, I'm sorry, my rings and that. And I've just washed all of my jars. And I have the lids here. Um, I was worried if I would have to sterilize them, but I guess new practices... Um, if you're canning anything in a water bath can or 10 minutes or more, you don't have to sterilize it. 10 minutes or less, yes, you have to sterilize it. Um, and if you're pressure canning, then you don't have to sterilize at all. So I just washed those, but I didn't sterilize them. Um, oh, and before I forget, we were also starting out wearing gloves because with these little, I'm going to show you blades I didn't want our hands to be pushing down on top of those so I got two pairs of this rubber garden glove from the Dollar Tree um, but yeah so this will be canned and I'm gonna try to can this one as cream corn and uh, the other batch the other half of the corn cobs cut that and can that as whole kernel corn and being that we were you know are kind of displaced from our home at this particular time of filming the video. I didn't know where any of my canning supplies were. I couldn't remember where we put that box. So I was filling up these jars without my canning funnel. Um, but after about two batches or so, we went and hunted down 
my box of canning supplies. So for most of the batches, I was able to use my funnel. But it all turned out good. That was my first time canning fresh cut corn. Um, you know, I wanted to do it for the experience, but to also be able to compare pricing to see if it was worth it compared to just going out to the store and buying canned corn. Um, you know, see if I might be able to do it cheaper if I canned it myself. Um, my lesson is no, not in this particular case for what I paid for it. Um, you know, we had gone to uh, Amish produce auction in Seymour, Missouri. Uh, I bought two boxes of squash, um, mostly zucchini with some yellow squash, uh, for 16 or $19 a box. I don't remember which one. And then I bought a bag of corn that had 60 ears in it for $9.25 per dozen. So it was $46 and some change for the whole bag. Um, I wanted to get some green beans, but we had a hundred dollar budget to spend that day. Um, and after I won the bid for the squash and for the corn, what was left over of that hundred dollar budget was way less than what those boxes of green beans were going for. But they didn't have a whole lot of green beans there. The week prior, they had a ton of green beans, so I'm guessing, you know, maybe that week when they harvested what was ready to be picked it just wasn't as much as the week before but green beans were expensive and it was more than what was left of my budget so we just got what we got um we loaded it all up in the van and uh that's when we had seen that um our local discount grocery store had 60 bag 60 ear bag of corn for 25 dollars emmanuel showed me the post on facebook when we get buckled in the van and he's like, uh, yeah, you're going to want to see this. And he showed it to me. And I was like, ah, no. I was, I was frustrated. I kind of wanted to wring my own neck. And I was frustrated, not at anybody, but at the situation. Um, you know, I, I wasn't on my phone during auction. So there was no way that I could have seen the post. But based off of the time they had made that post 10 minutes prior to when the auctioneer got to the palette of corn so it is what it is but he showed me the post I, you know I was frustrated but then I you know I know this is 
crazy, but and I know I just spent $46 on corn, but let's go get this out of the bag. So that's what we did. Um, and I'm glad we did because as y'all had seen, there were caterpillars and just some rotten bits on the corn cobs from the auction. You know, I'm told, and it makes sense, uh, I guess the Amish don't put pesticides on their crops. So obviously there's going to be some, some pests, you know. Um, so I am glad that we did get that second bag from the discount store. Um, because when everything was all canned up, said and done, I got ten and a half pints from the corn from the auction. Um, and then I got ten and a half pints and nine quarts from the bag from the discount store. Uh, so my experience, you know, ten and a half pints from your $46 investment is not worth it. Lesson learned. Very expensive lesson, but lesson learned. It's a mistake I won't be making again. Um, after thinking about it and comparing the pricing to Aldi's, you know, they got 40, 48 cent cans of vegetables. Um, I think it would be worth it to cut and can your own corn if you got some free corn. Or if it was 10 to 15 cents per ear of corn. Any more than that, and I think you might as well just go get canned corn from the grocery store. So, it was a lot of corn still, you know, a lot of batches of corn. And as y'all had seen, there was a boo-boo. My phone fell right in the pressure canner um, as I was loading up some jars. So, grabbed the first thing I could see, which was some jar lifters that didn't work so then i looked around panicky and found a knife and just scooped it right on up thankfully though my phone is just fine um i think the sound might not be as loud but still you know loud enough to hear and everything but uh i got scared because around this time last year my phone fell in the water too and our phone insurance you know took care of getting me a new one but i don't think they would take care of this incident if I had to get a new one but thankfully my phone's fine it was just kind of a funny thing to happen 